So I don't know, guys. Did we do it? Did we make the perfect Shisu? Welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3 with Mickey D. Yes. He liked it. He loved it. The Shisu plan has worked. More importantly, I want to see what item I get at the end of this conversation. So he's talking to me about the legendary Mariner, Mariner here, and you know he's gonna give us the sea charts. So that's gonna that's gonna help out a lot, and shows the currents of the sea. So that's great. That's it's gonna help us out a lot to find the legendary Mariner. So that's great. But more importantly, I, I bust my ass to give you good Shisu for a good item, not for the sea charts. You're you're always gonna give me sea charts, Mayor. Now, there's a whole lot of uh, different items that you can get. Let's talk to this guy. You're welcome so much. Oh, please be a shaman ring. Yes! Yes! Got the shaman ring! I've never done that before, that was awesome. Shaman's ring's really buff. You can also get this, by the way, through uh, the fairy village. But, you know, I like I told you guys before, um, I'm trying to not use the fairy village to like broken proportions, but it reduces your AP cost by 25%. Very awesome item. You can get a few other items um, if you didn't do as well as the perfect Shisu. You know, you can get like lacquer helm and uh, you know some good equips. If you did a lackluster, like a really crappy version of the Shisu, um, well, you're gonna get like an ammonia or something. But because we have those sea charts, let's um let's go into this thing. Let's let's go check out the sea charts and what that's all about. Charts say the tides only allow passage through these for a limited amount of time. So we only got a limited amount of time, and as you can see there, we got a little map to uh, kind of guide us. Now, there are treasures along this place. Uh, I only think there's like two... Oh my god, where are you going, boat? Oh my god. Come on, get that treasure. This is... This is horrendous. This is absolutely atrocious. How I couldn't even get that chest? I hate the boat. Oh my god. Anyways, you know, I just... <laughs> I'm gonna try and get... God, that was just absolutely ridiculous. I hate the boat so much. Anyways, you have to kind of beat time here, basically. Oh, I just overheated. Whoops. Um, you know, if you hold hold the circle button for too long, you'll overheat. Alright, let's do this correctly. Oh my... Really? We're gonna do this again? Yep, we're doing this again. Get the chest! Good fucking lord! Thank you! Oh my god! Dude, what is up with this thing, man? Why is it that hard to control? Ah, oh, for our... For our attempts, we... We get a heavy dagger. So, god, that one was like the closest chest, too. I think there's three chests. There's, there's, uh... That heavy dagger that we got there. Oh god, do I want to go through this? Look at all these rocks. Holy crap. I shouldn't have gone this way. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have gone this way. Um, I just know that there is a treasure oh, right there. Yep. And that's the one that I'm going to try to get to next. So let me try one more go at it, and I think after that... Uh, we can go talk to the legendary Mariner. If you see, the legendary Mariner is actually like on the left uh, side of the screen. And so, um, you know, that's where you're actually supposed to go. But, 
I just realized I'm going the completely wrong way. Anyways, I'm going to spend my tri time trying to get that treasure chest over there. But until then, um, we're going to see how long it takes me. I'm going to I'm gonna have to count how many tries it takes me. I'll be right back. I need to show you guys this with 1.13 seconds to spare. I've gotten the blizzard mail. I hate this mini game. And now that I'm done with it, um, I'm actually going to level up, take some frustration out on some fairy village, brokenness, and in all honesty, fuck this boat, dude. This thing is a piece of shit. I am going to cut the episode for now, and next time, well not next time, but later on in the episode, you're going to see a buffed up Mickey D. Or buffed up Ryu. You know, I'm gonna do some leveling with Nina. I know, right? That, that sounds pretty crazy. Do some leveling with Ryu a little bit. Maybe even level up with Ri and Gar. And Momo. Everyone's getting levels up. And to do that, I'm actually gonna be going to Mount Zoblo Zublo and doing the Lava Men trick. Um, some people know about that, but... Anyways, until then, I'll see you on the other side, and I will be Monster Levels. So as you can see here, guys, I've done some massive leveling here. Um, Ryu's uh, now level 30. Uh, he only jumped one level, but Nina, on the other hand, she jumped, uh, I believe, seven to eight levels or something. She she had a whole lot of level gains, and Gar had four levels. So now uh, all these characters have pretty much figured out. Um, well, they've leveled enough to get the final skills that the masters give. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go enemy skill collecting. So here's Hachio, talked about Gar, and we pick up the Mighty Chop. Okay, so that's that's nice. I'll showcase that in a little bit. Uh, and I think he has one more skill that he's going to give us at four levels in. And he will teach us Demon Bane. So let's look at those real quick. Alright, stop, stop. Alright, let's see here. Let's go over to Gar. And... Okay, so Mighty Chop says here, uh, ignores the defense, kind of just like, um, like Spirit Blast. Uh, and then Demon Bane, um, it does extra damage to devils, so that's kind of nice. But, um, you know, like I was saying, the how I've been leveling up so fast is through doing the, uh, Lava Men level up trick. Hopefully I'll have a video that will actually showcase how I do that. It, um, basically, th through leveling up through Lava Men, you can get just crazy amounts of experience. Um, through one monster, you can get 65,000 experience. And that, that's just... That will actually t probably take me to like level 40, so I probably don't want to level up that many times. So now we're here with Imitai, picking up his last skill that he can give. And he's going to give Enlighten. And that's pretty nice. It, um raises someone's intelligence uh, when they when you use it. So, you know, nice little boost there. It's kind of nice to have. Um, I, I don't really see much of a use to use it with Ryu, but, you know, if you're using someone like Nina or something like that, I can, I can see why that would be useful. So, the last place that I'm going to go to is Yural. And if you remember, I apprenticed Migus, or I apprenticed Nina to Migus. So the first thing he'll give here is meditation. I'll go over these skills right after I get them real quick. Meditation's pretty good. It's kind of like focus, but for the intelligence stat. So that's how it works with intelligence rather than power. Alright, so Nina learned Magic Ball. If you remember, with Tipo, I already learned Frost. So you can't learn a skill twice. So I got Magic Ball. That that skill is actually pretty good, uh, especially in the very beginning of the game. Say that if you gave that to Ryu, it's pretty good actually. And then Typhoon, which which she actually already has, um, you know, as a as a regular spell. But I can give it to somebody else. But these are these are all pretty good uh, beginning beginning uh, game spells. Oops. So let's look at those real quick. Yeah, see, she already has Typhoon in her main attack spells. You got meditation here, just like focus, but with intelligence. Magic Ball does a good amount of damage, actually. Very good in the beginning game. 
and Typhoon is great for, uh, you know, affecting all the targets and everything like that. So yeah, pretty good spells. Um, not gonna help me out too much right now, but, you know, every little bit helps, and as a completionist, that's kind of my goal, is to, um, get every enemy skill that I can. So, lastly, the one, the one final thing that I want to do now that I've finished up these guys' masters, well, I gotta put them under different masters. Over here, she does awesome, awesome stat gains. The only one that, um, she really hurts you at, I, I believe. Um, yes, I want CDS. Here, let's talk to her. I think that the only thing she really docks you down on is defense. So you gotta call her ma'am every time you see her. But anyways, I'm gonna put this on her on Ryu because she gives power, agility, intelligence, AP. Man, she does it all, and this is a perfect master for Ryu. So that's what I'm gonna do. And you can actually leave her on for 15 levels. She doesn't. She gives skills all the way from from like 15 levels, man. That's that's enormous. So anyways. That's the way that I'm going to have my master set up. Now I am going to pretty much um, go level up some more with Pico, Momo, and Ray. I have finally leveled up to where I need to be leveled. Momo's at level 25, Pico at 29, and Ray's at 27. So now, you know what time it is, guys. S -s Skill collecting time. And we're going to go turbo mode, because I don't know if I have enough time to... Uh, actually grab all these skills within the containment of this video uh, as far as the time goes but from Hondara because we've leveled up enough uh, with Momo we get Benediction and I think you get that at eight levels I believe I'll have to check my source on that but what Benediction does is that it revives anybody who's dead uh, in your party so for instance if you have two people that are dead uh, you use Benediction, <clears throat> it's going to revive both of them. The next master that I want to go to is Pico's master, Yggdrasil. So, we've leveled up eight times under Yggdrasil. Let's hustle over to him. Yeah, that probably caught you by surprise, huh? We teleported to this guy. I said hustle, I meant really hustle, man. Alright, teach me something good, Yggdrasil. So he first learns uh, the skill Sanctuary. Um, that skill, it, it's, a, it's a spell that affects everybody in the party. Um, it takes away all assist spells. It makes them kind of useless. The second spell we learn is Recall. Um, that, that's kind of a random spell. It literally casts a random spell once you use it. But the good spell that we learn from this guy is Shield. Which is really nice. Um, you guys know what shield is. It's just like protect, but with uh, all the characters. Um, really good. Ryu has, normally has it. Next person that I want to uh, go talk to as far as the master goes is Ray's master, Base, the hide and seek kid. Um, I should say with Sanctuary, what I mean assist, spill, assist spells, I was talking about spells like speed. So say that for some reason, the boss that you're you're fighting is he casts like protect protect on himself or speed or might or something like that well if you cast it uh, you cast sanctuary it'll nullify speed and might and shield all that kind of stuff and look at this base says re it's time to show you one of the secrets and we learn the chain form that is very important no, 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 shut up base I don't want to talk to you I'm running out of time here Alright, let me see if I can show you the chain formation real quick. Now we gain another formation. All speeds equal point member speed. Basically, if Ray is in the front, each one of my members now has his agility. Very, very, very awesome formation. But now that I'm done with enemy skill collecting and leveling up, I will now, next time, meet you with uh, next episode with some plot advancements and we're going back to the boat we're going to the outer sea so thanks a lot for watching guys and i um, sorry if this episode wasn't too entertaining with a bunch of enemy skill collecting but uh... or skill collecting anyways thanks a lot for watching guys